Hello, I'm the other Michael Jackson, known as the change guy and a person who travels around the globe speaking at conferences on change, trends and future business scenarios. At least I used to be one of those people, but obviously like you I've been constrained by the coronavirus, having to work out now at least for the next few weeks, possibly months, what it is that we need to do differently. So whilst I can't stand on conference stages around the world for the moment, I thought I'd make you a series of short videos like this one that I'm putting out onto my social media on a daily update basis. And really what I'm trying to do is share with you my thoughts and my take on the way our new world is unpacking. Change is happening in our lifetimes faster than we've ever seen it before. Most of us are responding to it pretty poorly, to be absolutely honest with you. And I may have an inkling as to why. Let me share my thoughts with this on you. I think it's all to do with the way that we define things that are urgent as well as the things that are important. So what I'd like to do is take you through a brief look at the difference between the two. Let's start with this. Okay. On the bottom axis, from naught rising to 100, we've got things that are important. And on the vertical axis, also rising from naught to 100, are things that are urgent. Some things, therefore, will fit into the top right-hand corner of the quadrant. They'll be highly important and highly urgent. Take a look. It's plain to see. The stuff we're working on that's highly urgent and highly important has got to be research. The data, the facts, the information that we're onboarding right now in the midst of all this very strange new world that we're working into. We can't take proper decisions without access to the most appropriate research. Making sure that we're getting it from credible, reliable sources. Not the fake news that Donald Trump talks about so regularly, but the right news. And that means doing your own desk research to find out what's trusted and credible, safe and believable. After research, highly urgent and highly important, comes our next phase. Still important, but not quite as urgent. And it's this. It has to be focus. And after the research comes that focus that gives us the issues, the reality, the common sense. Once we've researched and then we're focused, we're able to take this to the next stage. So now we swap to the other side of the axis completely. Things that are urgent less important, and they'll begin to decline. You know, still urgent for us in this day and age is our lifestyle and the way that we deliver our lifestyle through our ethics, our morals, and our values. How compassionate are you? How involved are you within your own significant community that surrounds you? Lifestyle is right up there, and it's something we have to be aware of. But then we move right down to what's neither urgent nor important. And so we find ourselves now in the bottom quadrant. It's the least important of all and it's the least urgent of all. It's our habits, where our negativity, our doubt and our routines stem from. It's kind of ironic really that that's neither urgent nor important. And yet, as humans, what most people tend to do is begin their very lives in that particular scenario. Every single day, we have the negativity, we have the doubt, we have the routine. We commute to the office in the same time, in the same route every single day, and moan about the traffic. We are the traffic, by the way. It's crazy to moan about it if that's where you find yourself. We've been negative. We've had doubts. We've had panic buying because of coronavirus. All of it is a natural place in which most humans find themselves. It's habitual, and when things change, we don't handle change very well. 
There is literally no point in us being caught in the bottom left-hand quadrant. We need to start working our way around, dealing with things that are urgent and important in the appropriate manner, in the appropriate level. And we've got to leave negativity, doubt and routine behind. It's going to happen more and more in a world that changes constantly anyway. And this is only just the beginning. If you'd like more of my thoughts and my updates, feel free to subscribe to my social media channels wherever you're watching this right now. Um, mail me if you wish, michael at theothermichaeljackson.com or visit my website, theothermichaeljackson.com for a whole bunch more of my thoughts and ideas concerning where we find ourselves. Also, feel free to share this if you like and it's been an absolute pleasure once again for you spending a little bit of time with me even though it's virtual. I really appreciate it. Thanks for being here.